Hello everyone. Today in this lesson, we are mainly going to deal with the average speed, most probable speed and the root to mean square speed. So just before discussing these three different types of speed of the molecule, we should know about what is Maxwell's speed distribution. So as we already know, in a gas, the molecules are randomly moving. Correct. The molecules are randomly moving. When these molecules are randomly moving, they will be collide each other. When they are colliding each other, their velocity will keep on changing. That means the velocities of each molecules are different if you are considering in a gas. So the scientist named James Clark Maxwell, he explained this one. All these molecules, when you are considering a sample, at any temperature, the speed of the molecules are varies from zero to infinity. So Maxwell given a formula related to this one and the relation is here dn subscript v is equal to 4 pi n a cube e to the power minus b v square into v square dv that is equal to n v dv. So this is a relation given by Maxwell where what is a here a is equal to square root of m divided by 2 pi kbt kb is Boltzmann constant and b is equal to m divided by 2 kbt so this is the relation given by Maxwell in order to explain the speed distribution of the molecule Maxwell explained at any given temperature, the speed of the molecule varies from 0 to infinity. Now in this equation, what is dNv stand for? That is a number of molecule having speed between V and V plus dV. V and V plus dV. And capital R N stand for what? The total number of molecule. So now let's discuss about the different types of speed in the gas molecule. First one is called average speed. So first of all, what is meant by average speed? Average speed can be defined as arithmetic mean of the speeds of molecule of a gas at a given temperature. So we can use this formula to calculate the average speed, say it as V bar. Okay. So V bar is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3 plus etc. plus Vn all divided by n okay so where what is v1 v2 v3 etc that are the speeds of n gas molecules so average speed can be calculated by what sum of all the velocities of all the molecule divided by number of molecule so this is the basic formula now by using maxwell's speed distribution we can write this average speed is equal to square root of 8 kbt all divided by pi into small m okay it can be written as square root of 8 rt divided by pi into capital letter m that also can be written as square root of 8 pv divided by pi into capital letter m because uh, how you converted here kb into rt term as we already know KB is equal to R divided by Avogadro number, right? N. So we can use that formula and we can write this equation as square root of 8 PV divided by pi M. So here, what is a small m stand for? Small m stand for mass of a single molecule. Where what is meant by capital letter M stand for? The capital letter M stand for the molecular mass of the gas. So this is the relation to calculate what the average speed. Now let's discuss about the root to mean square speed. So what is in by root to mean square speed? That is a square root of mean of squares of the speeds of the individual molecules of a gas. That means we can write here VRMS is equal to square root of V1 square plus V2 square plus V3 square plus etc plus v n square all divided by n so square root of mean of squares of speed of the individual gas molecule 
Once again, we can use the Maxwell speed distribution law and we can write this VRMS as VRMS is equal to square root of 3 KBT divided by small m. Once again, KB is equal to R by NA, right? R by NA. N into M stands for capital M, right? So we can write here square root of 3 RT all divided by capital M. It can also written as root of 3 PV divided by capital M. So now you can see in this equation here, VRMS is inversely proportional to root of M. Correct? Or you can also write here word VRMS is directly proportional to root T. So what is the meaning of that? The root to mean square speed of the gas molecule is directly proportional to its temperature. That means square root of the temperature of the gas. If you consider at a given temperature, we can write VRMS is directly proportional to word 1 by root M. 1 by root M. So what is the meaning of that? If the gas is lighter, since M is small, if the gas is lighter, the RMS speed will be comparatively high. Okay, so it is inversely proportional. So this is the uh, equation for root to mean square speed. Now let's discuss about the most probable speed. What is the most probable speed? The speed possessed by the maximum number of molecule in a gas sample at a given temperature. Once again, we can use the Maxwell speed distribution law and we can write this equation for most probable speed Vmp is equal to root of 2 kBt divided by small m. Once again, kB is equal to r by na. Substitute the and you will be getting the equation 2rt 2rt divided by capital m. PV is equal to RT, so we can write this equation as what? 2 into PV divided by capital M. So these are the relation for what? Most probable speed. Most probable speed. So these are the relation we have discussed now. Three cases, average speed and root mean square speed. And third one is the most probable speed. Now if you calculate this one, we can make the relation between what? The average speed most probable speed and VRMS can be written as VRMS is to average speed is to most probable speed is equal to 1.73 is to 1.60 is to 1.41 or we can clearly see in that here VRMS will be greater than the average speed greater than the most probable speed. So this is the relation among the VRMS, average speed and most probable speed. Hope you understand this one. Thank you.